It is my honor, my pleasure, and my privilege to address all the members of SAR in Africa and the rest of the world, and particularly our potential participants to the ICASA 2021 conference that is going to hold in Durban in South Africa. Many of you will remember that in 2019, we had a wonderful conference in Kigali, attended by nearly 9,000 delegates. And at that time, we were very excited. Excited in the sense that we were seeing all the strategies put in place to bring down or to remove the epidemic of HIV was working. For example, we were close to 2020 and we had the UNA strategy of 1999. We had even projected the end of AIDS in 2030, where we were confident that 95, 95, 95 was going to work. And then suddenly in 2020, we were confronted with the epidemic of COVID which, as we all know, has devastated not only our economy, but also our health systems, particularly in Africa, and that led to the deaths of so many around the world, and so many even in Africa, and has disrupted many things. As Society for AIDS, our main trust is contributing to end HIV AIDS in Africa, but also over the last decade or so, we have tackled all the other diseases that are related to HIV. And even the emerging ones, which we now see, have also contributed to challenges in our march to ending AIDS. And in this respect, I must talk about what COVID has done as far as the HIV arena is concerned have disrupted the services in many of our African countries. It has increased rather than decreased infections because all the tools that we put in place for combination therapy have been disrupted. But more importantly, we have also found many of our HIV patients have fared very badly when they contracted COVID infection. For this reason, that the theme for our conference this year is centrally looking at not only HIV AIDS, but the impact that COVID has and how we can mitigate what these two diseases are doing to us in Africa. So the theme for our conference in Durban 2021 is the race to 2030. Evidence, scale up and accelerate. Can be no better team. And I want to assure all our members and potential participants that Durban 2021 is a reality. Only a couple of weeks ago, we had a very successful virtual meeting with the team in South Africa, led by no other person than the Honorable Minister of Health of South Africa, uh, Dr. Zalini Nkize. And we have been assured that Come December 2021, the ICASA conference for Durban is going to hold. We have proposed, given the scenario that is available, that it is going to be hybrid because of the COVID epidemic. That means that in-person attendance may be up to 2,000 to 3,000, but the rest of the participants will do it through a virtual means. However, we are also prepared to have a virtual conference should we not be fortunate to get COVID response in, term, in South Africa to be coming down. If the situation worsens, we will do a virtual conference for ICASA 2021. I also want to talk about how we are addressing the challenges that COVID is bringing to HIV, 
related diseases like co-infections, TB, hepatitis, malaria, and even non-communicable diseases. These are all diseases that in this conference we are going to address because it is one health system that deals with all of them. And I want to take the teams one after the other and show us how we want to address the challenges that COVID has brought to us, particularly in Africa, where our health systems have become al almost moribund as a consequence of the COVID epidemic. One of the first teams that we have put in place is to strengthen the health system to integrate high-impact interventions on comorbidities and emerging infections and non-communicable diseases. Many of you know that comorbidities like hypertension, diabetes are major risks for COVID. You also know that if you have these infections, managing HIV is a big problem. So this thing is very, very apt for the times that we are in as a result of the COVID epidemic. The second and very important thing is to build, strengthen, and invest in Africa's scientific capacity and manufacturing of vaccines, diagnostics, and therapeutics. We all know the problem of vaccinations or vaccines for COVID. In this, particularly for Africa, we know from what is going on and the studies that are going on and the experiences we are having all over the world that even though the vaccine is not preventative, it reduces mobility and mortality. But here we are in Africa. Getting the vaccine has become a problem. We do know that this may not be the end of subsequent epidemics. Will Africa not come together to learn how to make vaccines for Africa? I think that's something that becomes imperative as we move on. And it's one of the major themes of our conference in Burma in 2021. The third thing is how to identify in Africa resource tailored interventions for populations most affected, including women, children, adolescents, men and key population. This is very key for us because we know that the burden of HIV, the burden of malaria, the burden of TB, and to some extent, the burden of COVID is found in this population. So it's very, very important that we address the challenges that these populations face as a result of the no number of diseases that I have mentioned. The fourth team is to evaluate the impact of COVID-19 on HIV's response, share lessons learned in overcoming barriers in maintaining continuity of care of people living with and at risk of HIV infection. I had earlier mentioned the negative impact that COVID has on persons living with HIV. They have more severe disease. There's evidence that they die more. If we are going to succeed, getting to the end of AIDS in 2030, this must be a very important component of management, of research, of policy, particularly that we do not know when this COVID epidemic will end. And then, last but not the least, to amplify national, regional, continental, and global integration to reach epidemic control in Africa, contributions from Africans in the diaspora. As many of you may know, the membership of SAR stretches far beyond Africa. And we have many of our kinsmen and kinswomen in diaspora who have contributed to even making COVID vaccines. But here in Africa, we do not have these vaccines. Isn't it time that we invite our diaspora to work with us to improve our health system, to develop the vaccines of today and the vaccines of tomorrow, that we can get Africa that is free of HIV, Africa that can manage COVID, Africa that can manage comorbidities, and even 
COVID, much better than we are doing at this moment. So I want to reaffirm to all our members and all the potential participants to Durban 2021 that we are confident that the conference will take place. We have been assured by the host country and we are eagerly, eagerly waiting to work with the host country and the International Steering Committee to ensure that Durban 2021 will be as exciting and a more successful conference than Kigali 2019. Having said all this, I'm excited to welcome all of you to Durban on the 6th of December 2021 for ICASA 2021.